Hey everyone and welcome to my channel and welcome to this video. Today I will be showing you how I painted this little bear cub and in a few simple steps. I hope you will enjoy it. So without the further ado, let's get started. I will be using this centenaire watercolor paper. It is called Press 100% Cotton, 300 GSM or 140 pounds, 23 by 31 centimeters. Also, I will be using this White Nights watercolors and I will be starting my painting with adding some masking fluids to the parts of the painting that I want to preserve white and highlights. So first thing I'm going to add it to the nose of my little cub. Also just around the eye and here and there on his body just adding some hairs and keeping the white highlights there. Masking fluid is from Windsor and Newton and all the supplies I will be using will be listed in the description box. So if you want to check something out, if you want to, if you're interested in something, you will definitely be able to find it there. I will start with mixing some raw sienna and indantrin blue. And first I will do the lightest layer starting from the head of my cub, just adding a little bit of the paint. I'm painting wet on dry, so I did not privet the paper. And I'm also leaving some parts white, just to leave the highlights there. Quite light wash, painting it in sections. So right now I have mixed a little bit more of the Indandrin Blue into the mix and I'm adding a bit more saturated paint. So just a little bit less water in my paint and a little bit more of the paint. Now the paper is wet from the previous layer. So I'm just tapping in the darker pigment underneath his chin also and around the, I guess, the entire head. So I've picked up a little bit of the water and then softened the edges. I do want to preserve some harsher edges. So I'm in some parts I'm painting wet on dry. And also I do want to have some softer edges where I'm just adding the color and then with the clean water in my brush, I'm just softening those edges. Now adding a little bit more of the blue to the body and some splatters around the background. I won't be painting any particular background, adding too much pigment there, just a very light wash with a couple of splatters just to add some interest there. A bit more of the blue around his eye and his nose and mouth. This just mix of blue and just a tiny bit of raw sienna, a lot more blue. And also adding it here and there around on his body while the paint is still wet. And around his ears using the tip of my brush and on his head using the belly of my brush, this time a little bit less saturated paint. I left it to dry fully and now the first lighter layer is done. So again, without deprivating the paper, I've mixed in a little bit more of the pigment. This time again, a bit more saturated with paint, a little bit less water in the brush. And I'm just adding the second layer. And you can see where I have those harsher edges from the previous layer. I like to preserve that. And just, I do believe it creates a little bit more interest and it just helps me to shape the head and also 
other parts of the body for my cabin. A lighter layer around the body. I don't want to pronounce anything on his body. I do want to keep his head as a focal point. So just painting around on his body a very light wash. Still keeping it quite light. As you can see, I would call this a little bit darker light tones. And now moving on to a bit more of the details. So I'm using a little bit even more saturated paint. Going around, adding it around his ears and also underneath his chin where the shadows are going to be. And this time I'm using this smaller detail brush that can hold, I guess, less water. And I can do a bit more of the details with it. Just adding those shadows and emphasizing the parts that I do want to keep as a focal point. A bit more of the hairs on his head, just to make the impression that there are some hairs, right? Again, using the same colors. And now with the mix that has a little bit more of the blue, I'm painting around his nostrils. And around his mouth. Also around his eye and eye. First I've added some lighter blue and then on top, now that this part is wet, I'm adding quite saturated pigment. I've used a lot of raw sienna and indantrin blue to create this darker pigment. I'm not using black or paints gray. I do like to mix my grays and darker tones. So it will also keep with um, the rest of the painting and have the same colors in it. So I'm working on a darkest details at this point and I do want to keep them quite contained. I don't want to use a dark pigment and lots of spots. So this is just going to be the parts that I really, really do want to highlight and parts where I really want to put the focal point in. So the eye, mouth and nose and also darkest shadows in his ears and paws. So those are the parts that are going to be the darkest. I'm just going back and forward now adding a little bit more of the details and just shaping up the parts that I think should be maybe a little bit more shaped. And with this larger brush, adding a lighter wash to finish it off. I'm not going to go overboard. I don't want to keep my bear quite light because this is a polar bear. It's white, so we're just painting actually white. <laughs> painting shadows on our cup. Some splatters again to finish everything off to make it a little bit more looser. And I will just be removing my masking tape now that it's dried. You have to make sure it's fully dry. And I'm just going to add a couple of last details. And with that, I will be finishing off this painting. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Maybe learned something, had the idea. If you want to see this real-time process, full-time video, I do have it on my Patreon. So it is linked in the description box if you want to check it out. Also, the sketch is available for my Patreons and now also for my channel members. 
I guess if you do like this video, please hit the like button, share it and comment. If you haven't still, please do subscribe to my channel. I would love to see you here regularly. And again, thank you so much for watching. I hope I'll see you next time. Bye.